Some people who fled their homes in Fukushima Prefecture more than four years ago have reached a turning point. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident forced thousands from their homes. Towns and villages near the plant were declared no entry zones. Now for the first time, all the people in one town have been given the green light to return home permanently. NHK World's Mitsuko Nishikawa reports. Children's voices are back. I also like to live dangerously. They gathered last Saturday to commemorate the fresh restart of the town. When I first heard the news that we can go back to Naraha, I felt I wanted to know more about this place where I was born. Naraha town is located within 20 kilometers of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The Japanese government issued an evacuation order for most parts of the town to protect citizens from high radiation. Residents and local government departments had to leave town. The national government began a decontamination program later in 2011. Four years and six months have passed since the accident. The government lifted the evacuation order at midnight Friday. More than 7,300 former residents are now free to live and operate businesses here. In the morning, people were on the streets to greet their neighbors, just like they used to do four years ago. One resident was there to clean the house she had longed to come back to. My grandchildren and great-grandchildren are coming in this month. I'll make the rooms pick and span so they can play and jump around. Yet, the outlook is tough. This elderly couple used to live in the town with six other family members. The family has been scattered, this man says. Fears about radiation have prompted the couple's son and his family to find a new home outside the town. Rebuilding the town faces more challenges. Many supermarkets and other stores have been closed since the disaster. Lifting the evacuation order did not mean hospitals or other welfare service centers would reopen at the same time. Elderly people voiced their concern over the reduced health services. The government expects to lift more evacuation orders in nearby towns for 70,000 people who are forced to live away from home. You're lying. No, you said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Naraha town was given a head start, but challenges lie ahead to ensure people can reclaim the sense of security and comfort they cherished before the nuclear crisis. Mitsuko Nishikawa, NHK World.